Welcome to Mom Talk LA. I'm Shahrzad Sepandu along with my co-host Dr. Nelly. Today we have a very special guest. He is special and he is causing some controversy. He's from a very cool show. I started watching it when it first started airing and uh, I said to myself, I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to follow the characters and see what's going to happen. And as time went on, I really started developing strong feelings for each character and I cared about them. And there was one character in particular that I really wanted to meet and we're happy that we have him today and we can talk to him today. His name is Reza Farahan and he's from Shaws of Sunset. Hello Reza, welcome to Mom Talk LA. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. Welcome Reza. Thank you. So excited to have you. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> yes, it's very nice to have you here. Uh, Reza, we saw you uh, a couple of weeks ago. We met at a restaurant mm -hmm. and we talked. I was s immediately won over by your character and the way you come across. I told all my friends he is larger than life and he has the potential to be a star because you give off that sort of, the same way that you come off um, in the show, it's the same way in person. Totally. Which is uh, pretty cool. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Do you want to be in show business now? Or are you going to leave real estate and go into show business full force? Honestly, it wasn't really even about show business. It took a lot of convincing for my immediate family to allow me to participate in the show. And for me, it was really to bring about a little bit of awareness. All this like fun show business and television stuff, that's all gravy. But for me, the real importance of this program was to bring about some awareness to homophobia in our culture. That's awesome. let, me ask you, let me ask you this. Yes. Your fantasy of the community, the Iranian-American community, the Persian community's response to you being a star on a reality show. What was that fantasy and how have your expectations been met? And tell us about that experience. My expectation, the Persian community has far exceeded my expectations. The amount of love and support I get. Just yesterday I was at the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf in Westwood and this lady literally stopped her car, jumped out, hugged me, kissed me gave me so much love, so much kindness, I was overwhelmed. And I had the most amazing day from our interaction. And the, like an older Persian man stopped me on, on the street, threw his arms around me. He's like an 80 year old man who knows my father. He's like, I love you, I love your show, keep up the good work. That it, to me is priceless. And the little bit of negativity that I see if everyone had a negative, if the Persian community all had a negative perception of the show, but I was still able to help that struggling teen who was being bullied or dealing with their sexuality, for me it'd be all worth it because I'm strong enough to deal with all the criticism. But what I wanted to accomplish and what I wanted to see happen is happening tenfold. Awesome. Let's talk about the criticism. So we have the I'm going to just categorize the groups into uh, the liberal, those who have openness, you know, they're excited about a bold and beautiful or an extrovert who's a hero and, you know, you, really. And then we have the more conservatives, uh, and this is across age groups, you know, conservatives who are teenagers, who are in their 20s, 30s, and so forth, who are a little more cautious. They're, they're I call shy and beautiful you know they're a little more cautious they're slower to warm up with that they're, they're not so comfortable with issues like homosexuality or you know they, it just takes time for them to to warm up to things like that right to tvs and what, what you're doing and and so for that group um some of the responses i've been getting and let me tell you i, I bring it up in, in mehmunis or you know we go to uh, coffee shops and mom <laughs> groups and and i bring it up and right off the bat i can see that that group or those those individuals, they first of all they deny that they watch your show. They're like, no, no, I haven't. Yeah, seen but then it. in the middle of the conversation, they start to talk about out. details. <laughs> yeah, I saw this part of it, and I saw that part of it. So the truth eventually yeah, comes out, right? right? Okay. And, and I I confronted them. I brought it up. I yeah. called them on it. I said, well, it sounds like you guys are having these behind doors or behind closed doors discussions about the show, and then they they said, yes, we are, and these are some of our concerns. And so they talk about their concerns being, well, 
you know, homosexuality? What if like that youth is confused about their sexual orientation is encouraged and are they going to be gay because Reza is now glamorizing homosexuality? You know, glamorizing. Oh my <laughs> exactly, God. Exactly, right? It is the hardest <laughs> lifestyle and if who would choose to be in the most hated minority mm -hmm. on earth? I mean, you're a doctor, you have a PhD, I want to pose this question to you. Was there a day in your evolution that you stood before the, a boy and a girl and thought, hmm, am I going to pick the boy to love or the girl to love? No, you instinctively yeah. knew what direction to go into. Yeah. So those people that have that thought process, bless their hearts, I'll send them some literature, and I educated. send them positive vibes, mm -hmm. and it is not my job in life right. to shed light for them, to mm -hmm. educate them, or to change their minds. I want to focus on the people that love and support me, and in the real world, that's what we do. You know, you know my mom has friends who, everyone's a critic, you know, and I want to make my mom happy, but it's very difficult, mm -hmm. because my job in life is not to change or transform people. Some people are Republicans, some people are Democrats. My job isn't to convince the Republicans to be Democrats. My job is to go hang out with the like-minded people and try and, you know, get the things I want in life done. Not change anyone's minds. If that's how they feel, more power to them. Everyone has an opinion. They're like, you know what, everyone has one. Do you want to have a family someday? I absolutely do and will have a family someday. Okay. So, Can I inter interject yeah, here? Reza, um, one of the, okay, so you're saying that some of the people that you hang out with in groups or whatever, they're talking about the homosexuality, that, that that's like a red flag for them. Um, how do you answer people, and, and I really, because this is the one thing that sticks out all the time for me, is that they say these six uh, people on the show are portraying Iranians as purely party animals, as if Iranians are not hard workers, as if they, they don't, you know, they don't care about sub substantial material, that they're, they're constantly partying. First of all, is this how you really see yourself on the show? Well, if you, if you actually watch, here's... Which I have. Okay, so yeah. here's, I want to dissect okay. groups. Yeah. I want to talk about people that haven't seen the show, that criticized us before we ever aired, right. had tons of opinions, and then I want to talk to people who have actually seen the show. So if you've seen the show and you think I only care about partying, why would I spend time to go talk to my father and really delve into some very deep-seated issues that I have that I think a lot of people can relate to. If I was all about partying, you would see us at clubs. We were in a club once on the whole show. So this notion of us partying all the time or the six of us needing to do some sort of representation, no, none of you guys elected me. When you do, I will be more than happy to listen to everyone's opinion and do whatever it is that you guys want me to do because I'll be your representative at that time. <laughs> but until then, I would betray myself to do anything other than what's true and honest for me. Yeah. I represent me, myself, and I, and maybe my family to a small extent. But other than that, I do not represent or assume to represent any so, other so person. So you're saying don't put the burden of representing my whole culture yeah, on your shoulders. Absolutely. We don't say, Does yeah. every black person who African American person who watches television think every other black African American person on TV represents them? No. Does Barack Obama watch television and see Flavor Flav on Flavor of Love and think to himself, hmm, he's my representative. I don't appreciate the way he's acting? No. Do all Latin Americans think JLo represents them? No. Why do all Persians think I need to but, represent but them? 